So it was brought to my attention that one of the first videos I did on a Tumblr was out of frame. And it was. So in today's video, we are going to redo the tooled leather Tumblr. Let's go. So give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when we upload the next video. So it was completely and utterly really bad out of frame really really bad but we're gonna do another one so we have our prep tumbler this is the matte ultra two times um, ultra matte paint and primer from rust-oleum um, I typically use this one not the Krylon a lot of y'all know why because um, this one covers in one coat the Krylon typically does not cover in one coat we also have our three quarters inch pipe and our foam insert. Um, I'll leave everything linked in my Amazon store if y'all would like to purchase them. Um, because this foam insert actually fits not only my three quarters inch pipe, but it also fits my half inch pipe, which is the one that's on my tumbler. Um, yes, they're different ones. One's metal, the other ones are plastic. Okay. So we're also going to need a paper towel and um, a paper plate for this one. Uh, I'm not going to use a foam brush and I'll show you why here in a minute. Um, we have our design. So we have our design. I created this on Cricut Design Space um, out of an image that I found on Google. This is for my husband. His last name's is Gibara. So you also need your scissors. And I just have some stainless steel scissors. They're linked in my Amazon store. And of course, my all time favorite, the craftable transfer paper tape, because um, this one works on light materials, heavy materials, and pretty much everything in between. I don't have to get different transfer tapes. I absolutely love this transfer tape. We'll also be needing your alcohol. I have 91% isopropyl here. Um, and your alcohol inks. Uh, today we will be using all four of them. We have ginger, we have latte, we have sepia, and teakwood. And we are going to use those in order from lightest to darkest, um, with teakwood being the last one that we use. Um, so we're going to put that back on our tumbler and set that right there. Okay, so what we're going to do is I am going to switch camera angles and we're going to make sure this one's in frame. <laughs> so we have our, um, I went ahead and put the transfer tape on the decal. So we're going to squeegee that down. We're going to squeegee it down really good. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take our craftable paper and we are going to peel that up. Okay, so that's what we have so far and we're just pushing down on the little parts where it did come up just so maybe we won't get as many art bubbles all right so now we're gonna grab our tumbler And there we are. So now 
what we're going to do. Okay, so there we are. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go outside and I am going to give it another coat of the matte paint. And then as soon as I am done with that, we will be back. So this is where we're at. Um, let's see. There you go. Okay. So now what we're going to do, everything's dry on it. We are going to prep our plate. So like I said, we are using all the alcohol inks. We're going to add a little bit of alcohol in there. Just like that. We don't want a whole lot. And then we're going to add some ink to it like that. And we're going to dab our paper towel in it. Mix it all up. And burnish it on the wood. more latte and to that we're going to add a little bit of ginger all right and uh, mix those up and burnish those on the wood I mean on the tumbler, on the wood. And get that bottom too while we're at it. Because we want it all to be pretty much the same. You can be a little rough, but not too rough because you don't want your decals to peel up, so. And. Okay, so, battery died, sorry about that. We're just gonna keep doing this. Making sure we remember to get the bottom. And then once we get that to where we want it with those colors, we're going to grab the sepia. Add a little bit more alcohol because we don't want it to dry out too fast. That's part of the thing is you want to add alcohol to this. Now with the first tutorial, I wasn't adding alcohol, but this is a trick that I learned. So um, I didn't really learn it from anyone. I just figured it out. Um, I've never seen anyone do this. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but. Keep going. That's about where we want it with where it's at. So now I'm going to set this down and I'm going to go ahead and add the final color, which is the teak wood. I'm just going to add it with the alcohol that's already in there. And if I need to add more along the way, we will. And we're just going to keep going.
until we get to where we want to be. And there you have it, the burnished leather look. So now all you have to do is epoxy it and it's ready to go. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button down below. And thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.